But perhaps those to whom Helen gives her time most gladly are those who, like herself, are both deaf and blind. There are perhaps 25,000 of them in this country. And in the 50 years since Helen graduated from Radcliffe, there is only one to have achieved a college degree. Robert Smithers of St. John's in Brooklyn. But they enjoy life and work like the rest of us. Their fortitude should make us perhaps recall, in respect to our own small difficulties, a truth spoken long ago. I cried because I had no shoes, until I met a man who had no feet. The newly handicapped, the once whole young men who have come back from Korea disabled, these command as much attention from Helen as did their brothers in the Second World War. Then, as now, she and Polly tramp the endless corridors of our military hospitals, bringing hope to the amputees, the blind, and the disabled. Meeting Helen, seeing what she has made of her life, gives them more courage to reshape their own. For her services, she was cited at the close of World War II. Then the leader of our armies, later the leader of the nation, Dwight B. Eisenhower, welcomed her to the White House and thanked her himself. Helen Keller asked the president if she might have the privilege of seeing him. Afterwards, of his face, she said, I felt the courage and thought that carried him through such great years of the world's history. From a life lived mostly for others, Helen managed to save some part for herself. There are the necessary things like shopping. The excitement of the city, its vibrations under her feet, she loves. She enjoys the labor of choosing and buying. Polly must shop with economy, but as they know it is part of Helen's job to look well in public, they must also shop with a great deal of care. And Helen's hats, back through the decades, are a minor footnote on the history of her times. Like our hats, the artist she has encountered also summarize an era. Joe Jefferson when he played Rip Van Winkle. Caruso at the height of his fame. Ethel Barrymore when she was in Declasse. Melchior as Siegfried. Benny Goodman at Carnegie Hall. Years ago, the young Heifetz played for her. Years later, Gladys Swarthout sings for her. Beautiful, he 
it is like my invasion of prayer. That is beautiful. It is like my daily prayer. Helen has been to Martha Graham's recitals, but this is the first time she's been to a company rehearsal in the studio. Polly must spell the action into Helen's hand. But she is aware of the rhythm and the movement of the dancers through the vibrations in the floor. As Martha Graham realizes, Helen's hands need not even touch the drums to feel intensely their vibrations. performances in a theatre. It is only in a rehearsal room like this that she is able to discover with her hands the line of body and limb that is the living pattern of the dance. to feel a lion. Annie Sullivan informed the zoo. A lion was fed. Helen entered the cage and felt the lion from its head to its tail. of the world, its shapes, its textures, its forms, comes to her through a sense of touch. But her knowledge of the world comes to her through books. And for books she is indebted, as are all the world's sightless, to a blind Frenchman, Louis Braille, by whose invention the blind of all nations can read. It was to honor his memory that Helen, in 1952, went to France. At the Paris office of the Foundation for the Blind, she writes in French the address she is to give on the 100th anniversary of his death. A notre manière, in our way, we, the blind, are as indebted to Louis Braille as mankind is to Gutenberg. Helen's speech is only a part of the world's tribute to a great man. Today, a hundred years after his death, he's being taken from the little village where he lived to lie for the rest of time in the Pantheon, the burial place of Francis Great. Behind his coffin marks the blind of Paris. Helen Keller delivers the address in his honor. A notre manière, nous, les aveugles, sommes autant redevables à Louis Braille que l'espèce humaine l'est à Gutenberg. Afterward, Helen Keller, Louis Braille's great disciple, is made Chevalier of the Legion of Honor. Nous vous faisons Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur.